Hello everybody, welcome to this Ancestry Room. Today we are taking a look at the newly updated Heavy Brass by Crude Bite. So this brings us some new features. It introduces app states, uh, improved tuning uh, dialogue with master tune and factory presets. It adds extended features to the virtual on-screen piano keyboard, uh, adds optional MIDI device configuration screen, and it gets the latency down to one millisecond. Uh, well, I guess that's dependent on your device, and it has another load of uh, bug fixes and stuff like that. So also, uh, it's an AUV3, so we'll take a quick look at the end of it working inside AUM. I had it set up to do some strange stuff with Rosetta. Uh, but I'm just going to run through a few of these sounds. I, I like this. I think it's really good. It sounds great. It sounds great for kind of strange, jazzy, your kind of Frank Zappery stuff. I don't know. It's quite weird. Anyway, I'm going to, well, I mean, it's not weird. It's as weird as you play it, I guess. Um, but I'm just going to play a few of these sounds. Now, the thing comes in, like, these are your singles. So, if, like, for instance, if I hit falls, it will fall, you know. Different falls. Just as one hit. Um, and, again... Uh, crescendo. Um. Growl. Well, one of my favorite sounds is I love this solo sax sound. Very cool. I love that weird kind of. So moving on to switches now. So this will be dependent on how you strike the keys. How do you strike them? And combis are basically combis. So it gives you pretty much everything you need to build up a brass section in a track. effects are the effects I had quite a lot of reverb there so let's quickly head over to a U M here and let that load and I'll load up that session that I set up yesterday I'll show you how quickly it loads actually and this is an iPad Air 2 for anyone who's interested anyone who's interested in heavy brass also I will put a link in the description 
below. If you use my link, I get a small commission from Apple, not the developer. It doesn't cost them anything. Okay, so if we go here to our files, I think I probably called it something like Heavy Brass. Uh, there it is, yeah, Heavy Brass. And it will load up all these Heavy Brasses and Rosettas. Might take a bit of time for the brass to load. Not too long, I don't suppose, though. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So uh, while well, that's loading, there's a, I think it's a dub station two there. Just a bit, bit, another couple of heavy brasses, collider, object, cosmonaut, take that. And a particle. So basically what's happening is this collider is controlling this heavy brass. Um, this collider is controlling this heavy brass. This particles, Rosetta particles here is controlling this heavy brass. Now, if you look in here, I'm not going to change this now because it's loading the sound up again. Um, I may have already be, may have already be loaded actually, but it it will load all these uh, presets, so they correspond to the. But it looks slightly different. So you go and apply effects inside Heavy Brass, but you can apply effects off because you can just use effects apps to apply effects to Heavy Brass. So if I turn the volume down on that one ball and that one there, and I press play. That's this one triggering here. And having a bit of a delay with dub station. done is basically made particles or it's all playing in a sharp or a bit like a b flat you know which is good for brass and minor natural not everyone's cup of tea but particles is very cool and creating very strange So apply a couple of effects there. But it gets nice when you apply effects. Cosmonaut. But it gets very cool when I applied object. really appeal to my sense of the strange and 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 and, and odd um, i don't know there's something about brass that really makes that sound even weirder so i guess we could while we're here i don't know how good i mean it's not bad on the old dsp for this ipad here too as well neither i'm gonna just throw in a not another audio unit uh, an interrap um just to see something else so i haven't tried this yet so i don't know if this will even work but it should do it should work all right i'm just gonna have a look a uh, soft drummer i'm yeah pretty sure i'm linked in here let's see it might not be let's switch it on okay link link connected to one app yeah that'll be okay that'll be fine that'll be aum 
So if we go back to here, if I turn down the actual brass instruments while well, I get the actual drum thing going, let's see. Let's go a little bit more. have this set of fill loads so this is soft drummer by louis martin i'll put uh, i'll put links in the description for all this stuff if you want to check it out it's like a jazz it really you can hear but you can build up songs and everything with it anyway this is about what's it isn't it heavy brass Welcome to Doug's strange world of avant-garde brass jazz. <laughs> I think that's great. I don't know if that worked. <laughs> Who knows? Um, let me see. Let me just save that then. And I'll just overwrite it. Yeah. Just in case you want to mess around with it in the future. Unlikely, but I might. Um, okay, so there you go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Good fun. New update for Heavy Brass. Very cool stuff you can do with Inside. I mean, you can make it sound better. You could start using it with, you, you know, like, um, what are they called now? The... The, the other Rosetta uh, apps, you know, to control it like, or, or, or set it in, you know, you can use it in obviously uh, Cubasis and play it and stuff like that. It's not like you have to use it with things like this. I just thought it was, i to stop doing that. I just thought it was fun to actually uh, play with the actual thing. So what uh, I was trying to think of, what was it now? Oh, Cells, yeah. Cells lets you program in, like you, you can play in the actual chords and stuff and it'll order notes and things and it'll you can get it to sound much more melodic particles does make it sound a little bit weird Clyde is a little bit more melodic um sorry not particles particles and collider they, they're similar but they they work in slightly different ways anyway Thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron. Very cool beans. And I will see you guys later.